Hi and welcome to the Demolic Cookery channel. So I'm back again today giving our pizza oven even more abuse. Okay so this poor pizza oven has been abused over the last few months. We've done lots of different testing to see first of all if we could destroy it and then on materials. So today I'm going to be adding another material onto the outside of the uh, pizza oven and testing that. So this video is definitely not a how to repair a pizza oven video. What I am doing though is a castable ref refractory mix. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a short video on that mix. The components, what's actually involved and what each of the uh, components actually look like. So before we go into the mixing of the castable refractory, I just want to show you this poor pizza oven and some of the things I've done to it. So obviously we went through a destruction test. Uh, there's a video on the Demart YouTube channel to show you that. Couldn't destroy it there. Then I've tried to mix aircrete. Look at that as a for its insulation insulation properties. That was a complete disaster. So this part is the aircrete. From an insulation point of view, it's fantastic. From a structural point of view, it's an absolute nightmare. So back to the drawing board with regard to the air crate, how we're going to incorporate that into a pizza oven build. I've got one or two ideas, but I've still got to have a good think about it. So this part's air crate, there's air crate under this, but this is just a, um, a render. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to take our castable uh, refractory mix and just putting an extra layer on top and when we fire this pizza oven up again I've, I've done two fires since putting this um, air crete on there I want to see not just the insulating properties but how well the refractory mix actually performs when we add some heat to it so again nice and two now I'll just show you the mix for the refractory and I'm going to be laying that over the top of this ok so the Refractory mix we're going to be doing today consists of fire clay, and I'll show you that in a minute, some sand, high calcium aluminate cement, and I've said in previous videos this is by far the cheapest way I can see a bit of adding that. But this is extra rapid cement, some hydrated lime, water, obviously need a, a large bucket to mix the refractory in and also obviously uh, something to use as a, a mixing tool. So in our mixing bucket now we've got our three parts sand, one part cement, one part lime. This is our fire clay or good quality fire clay. This is what it looks like. The um, granular size should be quite uniform and small. Okay, so that goes in there. So I'm going to mix this through thoroughly first dry before I start to add the water. So that's the mix done. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the hose pipe, just wet the surface of the pizza oven dome, just so that when this mix goes on top of the pizza oven dome, the water isn't drawn out of the mix too quickly. So once I've wet the pizza oven down, we'll then start to apply this castable refractory.
Right, so that's done. One of the most important things with a, with anything like this is don't let this dry out too quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a very light misting with water. I'm going to construct something over the top with polythene sheet. So obviously the polythene sheet doesn't touch the wet um, mortar, but it stops the sun from drying this out too quickly. First 24 hours are crucial, so a nice slow curing process, first 20, 24 hours. Take the plastic off after that and then just allow it to dry out naturally. So there you go, castable refractory added to the pizza oven. One of the ideas I've got is if we can do it as far as a, the domestic setting is concerned, whether we can produce a construction method of castable refractory aircrete in the centre and then castable refractory on the outside almost like a sandwich that would then hopefully give the pizza oven construction fantastic insulation qualities but also some structural integrity I don't know if it's possible but it's something that I'm working on and that's basically what we've now got with this although it wasn't by design so in the next video we're just going to fire this up and I'll take some uh, heat readings and see whether it performs better with all this on top than it did before. Please subscribe to the channel and as usual if you've enjoyed this particular video hit the like button. Thank you very much for watching.